a final inspection before the mast is erected to tap the power of Mogadishu's unrelenting sun. Abdiaziz Ado is leading the effort to light up the city. <laughs> this latest project is at the Hamaraini fish market, the largest here. After years of conflict, business at the market is now slowly recovering. The fish market is totally destroyed. We are building, we are getting back to the fish, uh, fish market and try at the same time improve the business, uh, the fish uh, market. And soon business will continue into the night like it already is in other parts of the city. For the first time in close to 20 years, we can show you Mogadishu's nightlife without the echoes of rounds shot and rockets fired. If you're out here at this hour of the night, two, three years ago, you are either out of your mind or you're one of the fighters. This is the evidence of the fighting that was going on here. But today there's a totally different story here in the street of Mogadishu. You do not need a gun to be out at this hour of the night. Every few hundred meters down this road, you'll meet groups of children playing their favorite game. Even those who don't want to play are also reaping the benefits of the street lighting project. I'm glad we have the lights. We just wish we would have more around the city so we can feel more secure. It is very important. We can even use it at night to do homework. Rep, bombs and robberies are common in the city. But police now report that preventing crime is easier. Shops are now open longer and the transport business is also growing. The lights have changed our lives completely. The light is helping improve security for us and our businesses and maintain peace. We feel secure now walking around. The thieves, thugs and al-Shabaab have now run away. It's helping our work. People are now able to enjoy the cooler temperatures of the night outdoors in a city that was once on the brink of total destruction from fighting, but which is slowly getting back on its feet. The solar-powered streetlights, a small thing with a big impact. And Soi, BBC News, Mogadishu.